Okay, we're going to talk about files. The basics of a file is that it's a structured long-term storage of binary data. Uh, these files can represent a variety of things and uh, we're familiar with things like Word files and JPEG files, etc. These are all uh, semi-permanent uh, storage of binary data that has some structure associated with it. So the application that you're writing has to be able to interact with those files to be able to write information to them and read information from them and interpret what that data is. Thankfully, in the C Sharp and .NET world, we have streams. Streams are the interface between uh, files that are on the file system and your application. And the interface is common. In other words, if you're working with a text file, you would use a stream reader and stream writer. And the way in which you use those stream reader and stream writer would be exactly the same as if you were using accessing binary information. You would use a binary reader and binary writer. If you wanted to read work with stuff in memory, for example, you might use a string reader, string writer. Uh, the nice thing is the interface is the same, so once you figure out how to do it with one of them, you can apply that technology to other ones. And so in our case, we're going to use the stream uh, reader and stream writer to work with a simple text file to demonstrate how this works. So the just remember that the reader is for pulling information out of the file and the writer is for putting information into the file. So let's go over to the code and take a look at how this gets done. Okay, so here we have a simple uh, console application that is going to create a text file. So up here you'll notice that we have a plan to create a text file. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to instantiate a stream writer. So here my stream writer SW is created by instantiating a stream writer. And the constructor that we use here accepts a file path. This string includes slashes. That's why you put this at sign in front of it. Uh, that way you don't have to escape the slashes out of the string. So this will actually create the file temp in the on the C drive in the temp folder will create a text file called example text file dot text. And just to convince you that that actually works, I'm going to hop over here to my temp file and here I've already run it. So let's delete that file. Whoops. Let's delete that file. So there's no text files there. So we'll see that this code will actually create that file for us. Now, what is this using statement? Well, uh, stream writers access external resources like the file on the file system. Since that is outside of our control, uh, the stream writer is implemented as a, a type of object called iDisposable. And disposable objects uh, mean that you need to get rid of or dispose of this stream writer when you're done working with it. And you can do that by keeping track of a try, catch, finally uh, type of block. But that it can actually be done built in uh, by, by this using statement. So using will take care of the thing that we declare inside of here that's disposable. When this block ends, the disposing will be taken care of for us. So what are we going to do once we create the file? Well, let's write some stuff to it. So here you'll see that I do s.writeline. And this is very similar to working with the console, console.writeline. Exact same formatting, so all the things that you understand about the console, you can apply to writing to files. So what am I going to write to the files? I'm going to write a bunch of versions of Hello World. And when we're done, the file is closed and the file is written. And of course, to prove it that it exists, we'll go ahead and make a stream reader, which we instantiate a new stream reader. Again, the constructor we use just tells it which file to create to open. And then we're going to loop through and read one line at a time. That's what this whoops, sorry. That's what this line here 
sr.readline. We're going to read one line at a time and we're going to read it into the string s and print that s out to the console. As long as s is not null, that means we've read something still from the file. Once we get to null, we'll end the loop and then we'll end our using which will close our stream reader and then we'll just pause our console to see how it runs. So here we go, give it a shot. And you'll notice that we have displayed on our console the versions of Hello World and the only place that those could have come from is by reading them in out of the file. So to prove that our file is actually there, we'll hop over here and you'll see that we now have a copy of example text file. If I open it up, there's the stuff that we wrote to it. So reading and writing from a text file is very straightforward using files or using stream reader and stream writer. The concept of a stream is extended beyond text files and so there's actually other objects we can use to directly manipulate the file stream or a network stream or a memory stream. Uh, but in terms of working with text files or binary files, the pair of stream readers and stream writers uh, are an excellent way of getting the work done.